welcome to the next segment of 7 Minutes with Seema. This segment is actually for keeping your knees healthy. It will both strengthen the muscles in your quadricep, and um, if you're having knee pain, this is a great way to start to kind of bring some mobility back into the joints as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Come on to all fours, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, sway a little bit side to side, shake your head yes, shake your head no. And then inhale, lift your right leg straight up and back. Exhale, little lunge, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, open your arms alongside your ears, coming into a high lunge. And then from here, exhale, hover your left knee towards your mat. Take your right arm and you can wrap it around your back, reaching for your left hip. Your left arm is going to reach over your left ear towards the right side of the room. The deeper you can get your knee towards your left knee towards the ground, the more opening you're going to get into your left hip flexor. Sink your right knee right over your right ankle. Two more breaths right here. Great. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Extend your back leg. Take your hands into your heart center. Keep your right knee bent. From here, you're going to shift your weight into your right leg, and you're going to bring your left knee and tap right behind your right calf. The right knee stays bent. You're going to inhale, extend your left leg. Keep your right knee bent. So this is different than a warrior three. Exhale, tap your left knee in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. This time, try to go as deep as you can into that squat. So again, making sure that you're using that right quad. You can even touch it, make sure it's activated. And then from here, start to bring your left foot forward. Now you're going to keep that right knee bent and just hold. So a lot of people can go all the way down, depending on their mobility, into a full pistol squat. For now, if you want to just hold here, then we're just going to inhale, extend a little bit, exhale, sink. Inhale, extend. Exhale, sink. Inhale, exhale. And then cross your right or your left ankle over your right knee and squat down. From here, you can keep your arms in front of your shin, or if you want to take a deeper stretch, here I'll pivot and turn so you can see what I'm doing here. You can take your left elbow into your left sole of your foot, make a fist, and plant your right hand on top. So you're really pushing with your foot into your elbow and your elbow into your foot here. This is going to help stretch your outer hip. Nice deep breathing, and you can sink into it here. I'm going to pivot and turn so that when we transition out of this, I stay on my mat. Great. So from here, inhale, bring your hands back to your heart, lift your knee to your chest, and exhale, step it back into your lunge, hovering your back knee down. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, open warrior two. Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior. Straighten your front leg. Plug your right thigh into your hip socket. Let your right hand drop to your knee, shin, or ankle. And then gaze over your left fingertips. Nice deep breathing here. Try to lengthen both sides of your body by reaching the crown of your head to the front of the room and your tailbone towards the back of the room. We'll take two more breaths right here. Relax your face. You draw your eyes. And then bend your knee back over your ankle. Take your hands down and step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, open it up, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg straight up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, open your arms alongside your ears. Exhale, hover your right knee above the mat. Your left hand can go behind your back, reach your right arm over to the left side of the room. Nice deep breathing right here. So again, the further your right knee is to the ground, the deeper the stretch in your right hip flexor. Keep your left knee bent right over your left ankle. Inhale, breathe your arms back up. Exhale your hands into a prayer position. Keep your left knee bent. And we're going to tap our right knee into our left calf. Inhale, extend back. Keep flexing your left, um, I'm sorry, keep your left knee bent. Exhale, tap in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap in and hold. Get as low as you can. Nice deep breathing. And then you're going to bring your right foot forward. And then you can hold on to a wall or a chair here. So exhale, sink. Inhale, pulse up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, pulse. Exhale, sink. And then cross your right ankle over your left knee. Squat down. You can take your elbows in front of your shin. Or for a deeper stretch, you can bring your right elbow to your right sole of your foot. Plant your left hand on top. 
And again, you're pushing your foot into your elbow and your elbow into your foot. This is a great stretch for your outer hip. One of my favorites. Sink a little bit deeper if you want to go deeper. Nice deep breathing. And bring your knee back into your chest as you inhale. Exhale, extend it back. Inhale, step right into your lunge. Cover your back knee. And then lift back up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, reaching up and back. Straighten your front leg. And let your left hand drop to your knee, shin, or ankle as you gaze over your right fingertips. So again, lengthening both sides of your body. Letting your shoulders relax away from your ears. Nice deep breathing. One more big breath in. And then exhale your hands down. Step it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, open up upper facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then go ahead and come into a seated position. Lie down on your back. Take your hands, maybe on your belly, or you can put them under your low back. But you're going to lift your right leg up, turn your toes slightly out, and we're going to pull, we're going to lift and lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. We're going to switch sides. Lift your left leg up, turn your toes slightly out. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going to do that again on the other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. Other side. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hug your knees into your heart. So that exercise was actually a recommendation from one of my friends who has a chiropractic and acupuncture practice in Washington. Um, his name is Adrian Hiller, and his website is Pins and Needles Acupuncture. So if you have other you know, questions or thoughts, he has a great website for different activities you can do for healing as well. So anyways, coming back up through center, giving yourself one more hug, and then we're done. Thanks for checking in, guys. Have a great day. Bye.